Hi, Zen. I'm calling to let you know that Sarah Collins has passed away. That's an excellent way to um, start off the old wedding day. Find out that your sister died. Yay! Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. In the last part, Miss October gave birth to Mr. Grant, who is sleeping right here, and he's also a notable newcomer, just like his sister Amaya was when she was born, although she's not anymore, so I guess that has something to do with, like, celebrity babies being all the rage or something. But yeah, we still have plenty of room for more children, especially since Emily moved out in the last part, and Lyra is on her way to moving out as soon as she, um, gets a grade A, which she's really close to doing. Gotta have October come upstairs and repair this dryer for the millionth time. And so yeah, we need to send October on out to go get herself pregnant again. And uh, when the kids come home, seeing as where their grades are when they come home, um, then we are going to go ahead and switch over to another one of October's children, a different household, and uh, yeah, mess around with their family for a little bit. Oh uh, yes, and Lyra is very sad because uh, she lost a parent, meaning her dad who, um, again, as creepy as it sounds, got together with her half-brother Crispin, uh, did pass away, apparently, in the last part. We weren't witness to it. We were at home, you know. But, uh, so it is very sad. Everyone is very, very sad about it. Okay, so now that all of the kids are at school, we are gonna send Miss October out after I clean up this plate. Get, uh, send the kids to daycare or get a nanny or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it is night on the town, so she does want to, what? Free local businesses want to show some customer pre uh, free food and that's secret. Um, so so we could just travel to a restaurant and see if there's anybody at the restaurant who wants to maybe join us for breakfast. Okay, and just as we get to La Atente Bistro, or however you say it, October lost her celebrity level, which is kind of sad, but this is not a, you know, get famous LP. I have one of those, and if you want to see it, you can click right here. But we are going to go ahead and, uh, who do we, that's the, not, yes, right here. We're going to request a table, and who do we have over here? We have a young man who seems to be a waiter and uh we have another gentleman or possibly woman i think it's a gentleman working as a chef so we got a little bit of a we got a few options here and uh there's a snooty celebrity here as well i don't know how this works if like the food's gonna be free or whatever oh okay here's our waiter no come to us <laughs> Oh my god, everything is free! This is insanity! Okay, so let's order a root beer float, because I would just like die to have one of those right now. I haven't had one of those in at least five years. And uh, what else? Ooh, and some pepperoni pizza. Mmm, that sounds like a disgusting lunch. Let's let's give it to her. <laughs> let's eat. Oh, we have a different waiter. We have this older gentleman, Kengo Okada. And we're all alone, too. Can we, like, can we talk to this guy? No, he's too far away. Seat someone near us who's not our son. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, that looks so good. Look at the carbonation in the root beer float. They did that so well. The pizza could have been done better, but still. Oh, I want a root beer float so bad. Okay, so all the patrons in the restaurant are talking to each other, which is always, like, super annoying because, you know, then, like, you can't have, like, any intimate conversations because everyone wants to join in on the conversation with you. But there's, like, nobody hanging around. How ridiculous. We have a huge skating rink and a littler skating rink. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great place to come and have fun. There's nobody in the lemonade stand or whatever the hell this is. Anybody in this cupcake stand? Yeah, just an old woman. This sucks. We're gonna have to find one of these patrons or the chef or whatever. I wonder if we can just like, just like walk back here and talk to the chef. We can compliment or insult him. Well, that's not good. Okay, they seem to be leaving. Hang on a second. Don't leave. Let me talk to you. Let me, let me, let me holla at you. Okay, is he into it? Oh, he's into it. Oh, yeah. We can first kiss. She did one intro- she introduced herself to him and already she has the option to just plant a kiss on his lips. Boy, you better not be leaving. She might be an older woman. You're a young adult. I'm pretty sure I remember you as a little boy in the neighborhood, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. I hear the music, but I see no kiss. Hi. No- hi. No kiss is happening. She looks so icy. <laughs> Look at the stare. We're frozen. What's happening? He disappeared. He poofed out of the world. Well, that sucks really bad. Oh my god, Chiyu and Lyra are both grade A students. That's fabulous, which we'll, we'll, totally, we'll totally deal with that in just a minute, but we need to invite Pierce back over here. What? I didn't hit travel, did I? All right, fine. We'll travel somewhere else. Let's travel over here to the water park that I made like a hundred years ago. That sucks. 
<laughs> Let me see. in a swimsuit and everything. All right. Now I'd like to, I don't think we could do the first kiss again. <laughs> because yeah, because apparently we did it, it just didn't happen. So let's just like make out in front of this little kitty park. And uh, let me throw down a doing it bush, which is so inappropriate, but I'm doing it anyway. Look at this thing I made. Oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> it's so bad. I just threw it down real quick because I wanted everyone to get together and have a pool day. And at the time I couldn't afford my own pool. All right, right here in the corner by the trash cans of the basketball court, there's a doing it bush. So let's run over here and uh, quickly try for a baby with Pierce. Yeah. Ooh, right in the butt. <laughs> now, this would be cool if I could, um, like, redo it, A, and B, charge, like, ad admission. I seem to remember, and this could be, sometimes I have memories from, like, The Sims 3 and stuff, that you could have some sort of device that would charge people based on, like, how long they were on the lot, but, like, that could be from a totally different Sims game, and I'm just confusing the two, because I do that sometimes. Why are the hearts so dark? Uh, dark. <laughs> <laughs> Is it forbidden love in some way? I even put showers in here. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh man. Okay, quickly run over here and check and see if you're pregnant. I mean, there's so much more I could throw down here now with like the extra toddler stuff. Little toddler kitty pools. Oh, and she's pregnant. Oh yes. Oh yes. Go tell him in the pool. Oh, there's a geyser going on over there. I know what's going on is important, but look at that. How cool is that? So tall as well. And uh... How does he feel about it? He feels all right about it. Doesn't seem to be upset, even though he's probably- he looks like he's like 18 and October's obviously like in her 40s or whatever. <laughs> her late 30s. <laughs> because she keeps taking that like live forever juice. Okay, so we are going to send October home really quickly. Bye bye, Pierce. You'll still be a young enough man when your baby is grown up that you'll be able to have at least somewhat of a relationship with him, so good for you. That doesn't happen too often on, in October's world. Um, we are going to age Lyra up, move her out, age Chio up, and then we're going to switch over to a different household for the duration of the weekend since the kids can't go to school. And then we'll pop back in on when October gives birth and hopefully we won't miss it. <laughs> I'll be real good. Two days days, right? Is it two? It's, is it, it three days? Second time master 24 hours. Okay, so if I, if I pop back Sunday night, it should all be good. Okay, and in the midst of October making Lyra a gorgeous tiered birthday cake, Chio has a question. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. We've gotten this one so many times. Why are October's children so insecure? I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Just play on your own. You gotta be your own best friend. I've given that advice to at least a dozen of October's children. Okay, go ahead and throw some birthday cake handles on this cake, clean this hideous countertop, and uh, go check on Grant because he needs, desperately needs some attention. Apparently that daycare you send him to just totally ignores him all night. Okay, Lyra, come over here and make a wish. Make a wish that the house I'm going to give you and your sisters will be to your liking. She's so sad. She's still so sad because her dad died. I feel bad. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and because we have here with Lyra a loner and she's kind of mean, I think I gave her that one when she was a kid or maybe when she was a teenager. I'm also going to give her non-committal. She just wants to spend her life out in the wilderness by herself, discovering nature and herself or whatever. So everyone leave her alone. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw some more birthday candles on here for me so Miss Chio can come down. Don't go to bed, Chio, not yet. So you can come down here and... Uh, Blotch candles. And here comes Chio looking so cheerful and happy as usual and so excited. Okay, so we have the genius trait for Chio. I don't know what aspiration I want to give her yet. I always like to pick the trait first. I think I'm going to give Chio romantic. I'm not sure if we've had any of our Sims be romantic yet now that I think about it. I could be totally wrong. I always forget, you know, we have a few Sims age up and I start forgetting their traits and things like that, but I think I'm gonna make her a romantic genius because why not? I think I'm also gonna make her a best-selling author because maybe she could write romance books. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh my gosh, she could be like the new uh, star of Har Harlequin Publishing or whatever the hell it's called, the ones that write those cheesy supermarket romance books. <laughs> Okay, so let's quickly throw Chio in the creative sim, move out Miss Lyra, and go check up on a different Collins member. All right, and here is little Miss Chio, who's not so little anymore. Because I made her a romantic sim, I tried to keep her clothing very romantic-inspired. Low backs, long flowy hair, lots of skirts. Formal wear, I went very in the past for this. It's very Civil War looking, or I could be totally off about that, but it definitely doesn't look like anything that you would wear to, like, say, a prom in the 
present day, so I thought it fit her quite nicely. Athletic wear, nothing too spectacular going on here, although I did give her these cute little uh, cinnamon bun things in her hair. Same thing with sleepwear, nothing going on here really. I do really like her party wear, I think it's so pretty and so cute and she looks so nice. Swimwear is just a typical bikini and the hat, my regular go-to. I do really like her hot weather wear. It's another skirt and flowy top and her hair is up again in a sort of romantic low chiffon bun thing. And winter wear, she's still looking so super cute in her hat and her gloves and her jacket. Oh, I love the winter wear. It's so cute. But let's go ahead and jump back into the game and move Miss Lyra out with her sisters. Okay, here I have Persis and Emily already moved out on their own. So all we need to do is add Lyra right here. And that leaves the original original Collins household so small. Okay, and here they all are. Look at October and Tio. Look at them. They're so cute. Mr. Marshall just down here on the bottom. Oh god, so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and move these guys somewhere nice. Okay, so this house right here, Tudor Bungalow, is a house that came with, I believe, the Get Together expansion pack when, with the one with Windenburg because it looks like something from Windenburg. So I'm going to go ahead and move those girls in there really quick. Furnished, yes. And uh, hopefully, I think, I'm pretty sure it said it was three bedrooms, so hopefully that's enough just to tide them over until we actually play with them a little bit. But we are going to be visiting someone else in this part, so let's jump right into and it. And the Lucky Collins child we're visiting today is Mr. Zen. If you remember, we moved him out with his dad over to Willow Creek a few parts ago, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, it looks like his dad has died because he's living here all by himself. Uh, Rodrigo did pass away. And uh, this house is kind of kind of sparse, kind of Spartan. There's not a lot going on here. And uh, I hope that Zen is actually happy here. But if you remember, we made him an animal lover. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to actually get him an animal. I think we're going to have him adopt a doggy poo. And I think we're going to go with Arlo here because he's a puppy and he's so cute. You may pick up to three pets. Hmm. Hmm. I think we might get him two dogs in that case. Let's get him Arlo and Bella. Are they both girls? No, there's a boy and a girl. Perfect. But yeah, let's go ahead and adopt these two puppies. There's plenty of place for him to run around, for them to run around, excuse me. And it looks like, oh, I thought that was Dean for a second, but that is somebody else. That is Masato Watanabe. Oh, look, so cute. Oh, pick up the puppies. Give the puppies all the love. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, look at it. Look how cute. I love puppies. I want a doggy so bad. But I live in an apartment and I would feel bad about having a doggy that couldn't run around open and wild and free. Okay, so let's go ahead and tell this dude that uh, we want to adopt them so he can go ahead and get out of our house. Because if you remember, Mr. Zen did actually have a boyfriend. So I thought it would be super cool if we could invite him over. If he has grown up, that is. I certainly hope he has. He's still a teenager, so if we invite him over, make a birthday cake, and force him to age up, then he can move in with Zen. They can maybe get married, maybe adopt a kid. I mean, just let's, let's just get it going. Let's just put it into high gear. And of course I want to adopt this puppy, and Arlo is an amazing name. Why are you asking me? Well, I want to see if I can see their traits. No. No? No, still can't. I actually don't think they develop their traits until they're a little bit older. No, no, adopt Bella as well. She's just waddling off into the kitchen. You need to adopt her too. Oh, she, she waddled so hard she passed out. So cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, the love is real, you guys. <laughs> oh, she just looked at the camera. Oh my god. Okay, so let's get, uh, we should also get Zen a job, should we not? Yeah. He needs to uh, be able to afford the kibble for these guys, if you know what I mean. And we should also throw down some puppy stuff, like, like food bowls and such. Toys. I'm not sure what I want Zen to be. I mean... Seems like a lot of pressure to choose right now, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of want to make him a scientist, or do I want to make him an actor? He's good looking. I think I'll make him an actor. I mean, he's definitely not going to get famous because I won't be controlling him at all. AI staffing agency. Um, but yeah, we'll see how he does on his own, I suppose. Okay, so we got one pink and one blue. So go ahead and fill these up for me and then uh, make a cake. Okay, so it's a little after eight, so Radesh, Radesh, however you say his name, shouldn't be mad if we call him to come over. Rayanch? <laughs> God, I, can't, I don't even know his name. Okay, and can we, like, yeah, we go. Age up Sim. 
So hey again, bye bye friend. I can live here and have puppies and it'll be the best. And while we're waiting, go ahead and take him out. Okay, so actually before you take him out, why don't you ask if he'll move in with us? We had a family and everything. I'm guessing those are his parents? Well, sorry, we just made your son age up and took him away. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so I changed up Rayancha's look a little bit, and now October is here. Introduce yourself to your mother-in-law, and she's super pregnant. I think she's probably still in her first trimester. But yes, and uh, pick up the puppy and put him outside because he has to go potty. Oh, there's really not enough room here to throw a wedding. Ugh irritating okay so because it's nice day and it's summer we're gonna throw an outdoor summer wedding which should be super nice and it's the perfect time of day but before we do it i guess we're gonna have a hamburger cake for our wedding cake because why the hell not so let's have zen go ahead and uh oh so many visitors here comes persis well, you guys can just hold on. We're going to have a wedding. <laughs> but of course, like I always forget, before we can have a wedding, we actually need to like get engaged. <laughs> so it just doesn't... Oh, look, family hugs, but hugging different people. So I know it's like super awkward to do this in front of your mom or whatever, but they won't leave, so... <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want October to leave. October is awesome. Who's watching the kids? I guess Chio's stuck at home watching the kids while October goes just wandering around the neighborhood, but it's neither here nor there. Okay, just to sort of speed up the romantic bar a little bit, I'm just gonna have these two woohoo in the back bedroom over here. October's uh, busy, distracted by Bella, so that's fine. Don't go in there, October. Stay out here with the puppy. The puppy loves you. Look at, look at it bounce. The puppy absolutely loves you. Oh, God. And somebody come out here and pick Arlo up because he can't get back in the house. Okay, we haven't even asked him to be our boyfriend yet, so it might be pushing it to ask him to be our boyfriend and propose to him and get married to him all the same day that we've asked him to Super move in and aged him up and possibly adopt a child at the end of it. So that might, just might be like a lot for one day, so we might want to want to take it a little slower and maybe have maybe have the wedding tomorrow morning. That might be the best course of action. I'm gonna have Reynash actually be the one to ask, uh, propose. Let's maybe not do it in the bathroom, so Zach if you can maybe go in here. It's a little cramped and awkward to propose to someone in the bathroom. Go ahead and propose to him and see if maybe that, because I've had so many times playing The Sims privately and on my channel where if you like do too many of these types of big life decision interactions, see I'm thinking he's gonna say no. No, okay. If you do too many of them sometimes then um, they, you know, are not happy. They don't want to do it. They feel too rushed or whatever. <laughs> so it's perfect. So now we can go ahead and get married in the morning. Oh dear. Hi Zen. I'm calling to let you know that Sarah Collins has passed away. I thought you might want to know. Fantastic. That's an excellent way to... Don't you dare go eat that cake. That's an excellent way to... um start off the old wedding day married bliss and all that find out that your sister died yay Ooh, and today is raining fantastic and this is how we're starting off the wedding with everyone besides emily of course who's having an excellent time in deep deep mourning all right let's just go ahead and get this wedding over with because this is like the saddest wedding ever and thank god october is still pregnant which means we still have plenty of time to get back to the house it is sunday she'll probably give birth monday morning oh look there's a line for the bathroom already just like every wedding i've ever been to and nobody's watching them get married and i don't know why zen is still listed as stinky because he's not stinky <laughs> just he's having these like horrible gases come out every time he lifts up his arm oh that's cute though is anybody watching? No. It's just a wedding for you guys. Don't even worry about it. Oh no, there they are. Look, <laughs> they're dancing. <laughs> they're like, this party is rocking. Why are they dancing? What's happening here? Okay. Well, everyone seems to be having a good time anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the wedding cake since we're here and we're having to have this party indoors, which isn't nearly as fun. Oh, look, everyone's thinking about it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh man. And look at what October is wearing to her son's wedding. Look what she's wearing. She's like, I can't be bothered <laughs> to be to put on a dress. Look at how pregnant I am. And my god, I hope there's triplets in there. Well, our bartender decided to just up and leave. Like, it was just too many Collinses here for him to deal with. So I guess we're gonna have to, um, I did not give you this outfit, Lila. Li Lila, can't speak. Um, 
I'm fairly certain I did not give you this outfit. So yeah. So we're gonna have to have the groom make his own whatever. What are you making? I don't remember what I clicked. Oh, you're just pouring a beer. <laughs> well, pour a beer for other people as well. Oh, because there's another bar out here that the, um... At the bar- no, the musician's making drinks! Where did the bartender go? Is the bartender at the piano? No? I don't know why these guys are hanging out in the rain. Is there like a canopy over them? There is. Okay, so there's not so bad down there. Guess we could have had the wedding out here then, but... I don't know, it's kind of nice and cozy in here. I kind of like it. Okay, we don't have any food, and there's not like- not like I'm gonna put down a kitchen or anything here, so I think I'm gonna end this wedding right now. It was a good enough wedding. Silver, I think, is pretty good for a rainy wedding on the day of your sister's death. So let's go ahead and head back to their house, have them adopt a child to sort of continue on their family, and then we'll go check in on a Miss October and wait for her to give birth to her baby. Okay, and these are the kids that are available to adopt. We have babies, toddlers, and children, children. And I think that we'll go with a toddler, and I think that we'll go with Alyssa. Yes, I think that's her. Skip over the infant, let's just go right to toddler. Let's skip a life stage. <laughs> Zen Collins is bringing home a new family member. Cool. Just like I told him to, Alyssa, and we can leave Collins. Everybody needs to be a Collins. Oh, and he has good reputation for adopting. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to leave these guys alone here. They have a brand new baby toddler, two little puppies, and uh, two brand new careers, and a new life to just, you know, go ahead and do whatever it is they want with it. So let's go ahead, jump back in with October. Okay, so here we are. Let's see, October is going to be in her third trimester in just 30 minutes or so. Um, Sarah did pass away, so we want to head over to her home. Oh god, look at this family tree. It's ginormous! And if you remember in the last part, we couldn't find Freya. Freya, who is right here. Um, because she died somewhere not on her home lot, so we were never able to find her, uh, urn. So, um... With Sarah, and of course Marceline's going to be next then, Sarah, we have to just hope that she died at home. Okay, and unfortunately that leaves Sarah with actual children children, like Antonia here, without a mom, which is so terrible. And I believe Brittany also, pretty sure Marceline's son or daughter Amari over here, and of course she has two older children, but that is really awful. Let's come over here and um, give her a loving hug really quickly. O October just ran right into her closet go cry. And uh, of course she's got her grandchildren under the covers crying. Everyone's really, really upset. But unfortunately, all I see is the urns for Joaquin and Sergio. And here's Sarah. Oh, thank goodness. We can take her home with us. Makes me feel so much better. We're gonna have Chio join the drama club. It's not exactly something that you earn any money for, but um, yeah, I think she would be pretty good at the drama club. She seems dramatic. Okay, and October is making her way upstairs to do some more laundry, which seems to be the bane of her very existence. But we are going to go ahead and throw Sarah in with the rest of the family right here. Throw her down, and there we go. And I'm actually going to move her over one, because this is for Freya. I don't know where Freya is, but this is for her. And, uh, god, I'm going to have to make a second crypt eventually. Oh god, look at October. She looks so upset. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Marshall is just like, look at me chase my tail. Isn't that cute? Oh, she's just gonna give him some love, try and make herself feel better. So sad. Oh, apparently Grant aged up. I was, huh, this is interesting. Not really sure what to make of the, oh, it's gone. All right. <laughs> I was just having October fix the washing machine for the 8,000th time since uh, Laundry was introduced into The Sims and uh, Grant aged up. So I think I'm going to give him the independent trait. That would help me out immensely, especially if October ends up having triplets from this pregnancy, which is, of course, exactly what I want. Oh, he is so cute. I don't think I'm going to um, change his look around in this part, but probably in the next part. And oh, that's right. He's a vampire. I forgot. And although he never met Sarah, not once, he is in deep, deep mourning for her loss. Chio is unbelievably close to getting um, a three in everything, which means she will be able to age up. And because, I had no idea, but because Grant is independent, I've had her um, teaching him how to talk, and he's already at level two. Oh, these potties are disgusting. So gross. Go clean these. This one looks gross as well, but it won't let me clean it. Maybe I'll just buy a new one. Let me let me just buy new ones. Forget it. <laughs> I'll buy you brand new potties, and then you can potty train them. 
And if that's the case, we can age up Amaya and then uh, we can change their looks up in the next part. Boy, don't be sassing me. Oh, and that's it. Amaya hit, yep, she's hit thinking level three, so she is all good to go. Oh, lovely. The ghosts must have been really feeling themselves in this bathroom. Look at this. Okay, October just brought Amaya over to blow out her candles. I had it running on fast speed because it, took for <laughs> it takes October forever to get anywhere because she waddles everywhere. But she did it, I promise. And here we go. She's got one skill for everything, which is so great. Cat lover. I don't know if we've had cat lover for a child yet. So let's go ahead and give her that one. And we're going to give her the artistic prodigy. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Woohoo, October is finally going into labor. Thank goodness. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Let it be triplet. Let's. Okay, here goes Miss October. She's got a huge old belly. This is the one. You would be October, even though you're doing all the work. Oops, I put the walls up over your face. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, it's a boy, and hopefully this is not the only one. We're gonna name this boy Kevin. We haven't had a Kevin yet, I don't think. Oh, are you kidding? It's just one? Just one baby? They're not good enough. Oh, October, no. So I am going to end this part here. In the next part, we will send October trolling once again to hopefully get pregnant with twins because we can still fit two more babies in this house. If you did enjoy this part, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you for the next part of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Bye-bye.